Nation and YouTubers. It's that VA Dallas Cowboy fan coming back at, at you with another one. This video, I wanted to talk about free agency. Uh, some of the players that we've let, uh, let go to free agency that are still out there and some of the names that are still out there for us to look at. Um, some of the top names for us that are still out there are like Joe Looney. Uh, if we could bring him back on a low cost deal, that will help along uh, Tyler Biotish just in case anything happens to him. We always have that reliable backup. Uh, surprisingly, I haven't heard any word on uh, if anybody's going to pick him up or not. He's still out there. Uh, we have Jordan Mills and Greg Sinat, both tackles that we actually never even used. Uh, I don't know why we picked them up if we were just never going to use them. I understand Brandon Knight and Terrence Steele got that experience, but you think if you're trying to win games, you'd have used guys with more experience and could probably play better than uh, either one of those two. But they they just didn't. They picked them up out of free agency, paid them to low cost deals, and never used them. I, I don't understand the moves on that one, but uh. It might have been a front office move more than a coaching move, uh, especially if the way Terrence still played in that beginning, you could see he was clearly not ready and they still trotted him out there every week like he was a world beater. So I don't understand why they did, just didn't play tackles that had more experience, you know. Uh, we still have no word on Sean Lee. Uh, he It may come down to draft night. I guess because he still hasn't declared if he's going to be a free, uh, retire free agent or come back or anything. Uh, a guy who is out there that we should bring back is Justin March. Now he has been a backup behind, uh, Lee Smith and LVE for the past two seasons, I do believe. And, uh, he's great for depth, especially with Joe Thomas leaving to the Texans. So you'd think uh, bringing him back would help uh, negate some of the uh, loss on the linebacking core. And it could help uh, mitigate uh, drafting a linebacker so high in the draft. But if there's a linebacker that's coming down the pipe that's probably worth that second round grade, they'll probably bite for it anyway uh, just to see what will happen. And um, you also have uh, Keanu Neal uh, that's going to play – safety slash uh linebacker as well anyway so that's probably going to help them mitigate some of that as well uh, along with uh DeMonte Casey so you'd have to think with those guys flip-flopping around in the linebacker position there's not a need need to get uh more linebacker help especially so high in the draft but I'm sure it's still a need uh just in case you don't want to play you know uh possible safety in a uh, uh, core defense. You don't want your guys all over the place. You want somebody who could play that base defense and not get tired so you can rotate somebody out. Uh, in other news, I have seen people talking about it. I haven't said anything yet. Uh, but my idea and thinking uh, with Sheldon Richardson being released and Maurice Hurst is that they can be and are probably on the Cowboys uh, phone list of free agents that they'll probably look at. But uh, it's more than likely not going to happen until after the draft. I'm pretty sure right now the moves are uh, to stick with what we have, go through the draft, try to pick up as many pieces as we can through the draft uh, to mitigate depth. And then go back to the free agency thing. And hopefully the uh, well, the prices are still bargaining because uh, it is so late in free agency period anyway. So a lot of guys are probably not going to take those high end deals that they were expecting anyway. It'll be a one year rental. And uh, especially if you come to the Cowboys is getting your name out there. Uh, and if you play well, it's a big uh, boost in your repertoire. And next year's free agency. So you can use it and uh, flip it like Alden Smith, uh, Randall Cobb, Robert Quinn, and uh, move on to bigger, better things if this year doesn't pan out for you and the Cowboys don't bring you back. But 
that's just my thoughts on the free agency thing right now. Um, still trying to figure out, you know, why some of these better players are still out there. Uh, we know Sean Lee is uh, not determined yet if he's going to retire. But some of the other names, it's a little bit of a mystery. Like Joe Looney, he's a pretty good player. Uh, he can always come in in a pinch and play along your line. So I don't know why he's still out there. It's not like there's too many better free agents out there on the market. So uh, we'll just have to see what's going to happen with some of these other free agents. All right. Uh, if anything else happens, you know, we'll talk about it. Till then, the a Dallas Cowboy fan, out. Back again, Cowboys fans and YouTubers, um, doing some quick little Googling out here, and uh, I'm looking online here, and uh, it says uh, some of the reasons why the Cowboys may not be looking at Richardson and Hurst. Uh, one, because Richardson has a history of off-field issues that are kind of off-putting, plus, uh, of course, as he's gotten older, his uh, production numbers have gone down. And to try and get $12 million again uh, from a team like us, that bargain basement shops, is not happening. Uh, but, of course, you know, nobody's going to sit out here and say anything. But they say sources in Dallas uh, that Richardson is just not on their radar. And so that's why we haven't heard anything from that. As far as Hurst goes... Uh, he did have a congenial heart defect that was found out during the draft when he was drafted. But uh, apparently it's just not a health issue for him. They just don't see him as highly regarded as Richardson would be. But the Cowboys just aren't interested in looking at either one. So we'll have to see if there's an about face after the draft. Um, hopefully that's the case because even though you don't highly regard them when players can play, play their butts off for you, you take them. You don't just sit here and not take them just because you don't like them. I mean, that's just bad management, but I'm not the manager of the Cowboys. I'm not the front office personnel. They do what they do. And we fans are just sit sitting here left to wonder. Uh, again, if anything else comes up while I'm Googling here, I'll make a video for you until then. VA Dallas Cowboy fan, out again.